Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Class 10th, we are starting the chapter number 12. As the previous chapter is complete, uh, and this chapter is the coordination and control. First of all, what is coordination? Coordination is the working of different organs or anything with each other is known as coordination the working of the different parts with each other here uh, we will discuss the coordination of and control in the human body and how the different parts and uh, coordinate with each other and they control the internal functions of the body here you people can see that a picture is given in which a human is shown during the running process when a human run uh, these are not only the muscles of the human which are responsible for the running not only the bones not only the muscles but the internal different systems are involved in the, this process First of all, the muscles and the bones are controlled and they are, uh, the structure is maintained, the position is maintained due to the you know, human brain. Human brain gives messages, information to the muscle, to the bones and they maintain the position as well as the running process of the human body. Next, during the running, we need more energy and more energy is released during the process of respiration respiration need more oxygen and more oxygen is provided by the lungs and for the lungs that oxygen is provided through nose by breathing process so again nerves and uh, nervous system are the brain provide information to nose to take the more oxygen and breathing rate is increased and then lungs provide the that oxygen energy to the body and that energy is circulated inside uh, so provided to the muscles and those to blood and for those the blood is provided to the heart so the movement of the heart is also increased so you can see that for a single running a single process how many bones muscles lungs heart brain and many other parts of the body are involved if they work together in connection with each other the process will be done if any one part cannot coordinate it means that the process will be stopped or some problem will arise in that process which will affect the process so that's there is this example show the importance of coordination in the human body that when we taking only a simple example of the running how many parts how many systems are co coordinate uh, during the, this process in the human body there are two types of the coordination in the human body one is the nervous coordination and the other one is the chemical coordination nervous coordination uh, is uh, um, brought about by nervous system we will discuss these two types of coordination in this chapter in detail while the chemical coordination is brought about by endocrine system so we will discuss later first of all we will discuss the nervous coordination so there are two types of the coordination one is nervous coordination other one is the chemical coordination and through this coordination the human body is maintained while the plants have only one type of coordination and that is the chemical coordination plants have only chemical coordination and they have no nervous coordination after this we will discuss the components of the coordination coordination process have five components stimulus receptor coordinator effector and then response these are the five uh, components of the uh, coordinating system stimulus receptor coordinator 
effector and response stimulus first one uh, component of the uh, nervous coordination is known as stimulus what is stimulus any change in the internal or external environment of the living organism which provoke which produce any response in them any change that we can feel is known as stimulus sometimes the change occur in the surrounding in the external environment and sometimes change occur in the internal environment or in the inner parts of our body and that change is known as stimulus which provide any feelings any response in our body for example when we touch uh, the snail here the example is given that when we touch the snail the snail stop movement so the touch is the stimulus which provide feeling to the snail if we touch a hot object uh, we will remove or pull our hands suddenly that hotness is the stimulus which provoke a response in our body in such a way if our uh, blood pressure increase or if our heart rate increase we will feel that we will have obviously any response to that and that is the internal stimulus any change that produce a feeling of response in the living organism is a stimulus next is the receptor receptors are those parts of the body which receive stimulus when we receive stimulus when we feel it means that something is present in our body which provide us information and that something is known as receptor it may be a cell it may be a tissue it may be an organ like mouth provide us taste nose provide us smell eyes provide us the stimulus of the light skin provides us the stimulus of the touch so these are the organs but sometimes the cells and sometimes the tissues provide us the change or the stimulus about information about the stimulus so those parts of the body are known as receptors next is the coordinator what receptor do when they feel the stimulus they provide that information to the coordinators coordinators are the main parts of our body which receive information from receptors and then they send message to the different parts for the response to show the response either positive or sometime negative so these are the main parts of our body there are two types of the coordination uh, coordinators in our body one is the nervous coordinators and the, the nervous coordinators are brain and spinal cord while the second one is the Uh, chemical coordinators and chemical coordinators are the glands which which secrete different hormones brain and spinal cord send messages through the nerves neurons nerve impulse while the chemical coordinators provide a response through the secretion of different hormones so these are the two types of the coordinators which take the message from the receptor and then it give it to the effectors x <clears throat> the next is the effectors and this is the fourth one uh, component of the co- coordinating system effectors are uh, those parts of the body which receive messages from the coordinator and show response in case of nervous coordination this may be the different organs of the body uh and uh, uh, which receive uh, information through the n- neurons or nerves while in case of chemical coordination hormones give information to the target tissues like uh, sometime it is the muscles and sometime it, uh, these are the bones sometime the liver sometime the different parts of the body so the effectors are those parts which receive message from the coordinators and then they show the different responses in the body inside the body the last one component is the response response is the action which we take after receiving message from the uh, if uh, coordinators effectors show response 
so effectors show action for example the pulling of the hands when we touch something that is the response the movement of the sunflower toward the light that is response uh, when we uh, feel uh, happiness by by seeing uh, anything when we see anything so that is a response when muscle move according to the coordinator that is response so when we show action uh, by taking information through effectors that is response and here also a comparison is, is given between the nervous coordination and chemical coordination these are the sense organ receptor and the nervous coordination they take information through neurons and through the nerve impulse they give information to the coordinator brain and spinal cord then the brain and spinal cord give information through the nerve impulse or neuron through the effectors which are muscles and glands while in chemical coordination the stimulus is feel by receptors and receptors give its information through the blood not through the nerves or not through any cells or tissue they give some chemicals to the blood blood taking that chemical to the coordinator which is endocrine system toward the any gland and then the gland it also give its chemicals or hormones to the blood and blood again carry that chemicals to the effector bones muscles liver and then they show response so this is the difference between the nervous and chemical coordination that in nervous coordination neurons are uh, working while in chemical coordination hormones or chemicals do working